Hello, hello, welcome to a farming tutorial I did not think I would be making today. So this is an iron farm, this is Lodge Cookie Boy's design. You'll note that the spawn platforms are different. That's because in 119.3 they changed something with how the iron golems spawn. The spawning platform has to be different or they will clip through the walls and fall to the ground and usually not die at all. The range in which the golems spawn has changed. The old spawn block would allow your golems to spawn inside of the walls and subsequently clip through as a result of water and taking fire damage, I believe. I've not looked into it at all. It's pretty simple. You can follow Logical Geek Boy's design up until 7 minutes 35 seconds. And I'm going to do a quick build along. Alright, so you've got your setup, you got your zombie in there, he's in his water, whatever. This is how you're gonna build it. One, two, three, fourth block up. There we go, that's five. This one needs extra on the right side. And then you take this, you have one here, so you count two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fill in your platform. Take this up one around all of its edges. And then this becomes a wall that is three high. This will prevent the golems from spotting the zombie and swimming against the current to go attack it. Right, you're then gonna have this. You take these, you bring them out one. And you bring these down because this is your trough put a back wall on your trough. You make sure that if you're an idiot like me and built this out of wood, you have fire tick off. Right? And you're gonna place your fence gates like so. You're gonna take your lava and you're gonna place it can be either of these center two, but you're not going to have enough lava to reach if you do any of the edge ones. Alright, we have this. Take your water. Take your buttons. Now that you have your water ready and your lava set, you're going to I'm using buttons. You can use literally anything that blocks spawning. You're going to place them on a ring around this top edge here, because otherwise you're going to get golems spawning up here. You're going to remember to do this to your zombie container, or you'll get them spawn in there too. I almost forgot. All right, now we have this lovely container. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the trough leads to a channel. You basically give this a floor, leave an opening here with a fence gate or sign so the water doesn't go through. You fill that with water, there's your trough. Now if I spawn some villagers here, we should start getting some golems going. The villagers have to be able to sleep at least once to start spawning golems, that is why the beds are vital. But if we look, you can see that my golem has spawned and that he's now dying in the fire and once he's dead we'll be able to see that his goodies fall down this tube. Because these will actually hit this edge here and then fall directly in this edge and that is how you complete it. I'm not a tutorial guy, I'm well aware this probably was not the best but it's functional and that's all it really has to be. I'll see you whenever.